Hey, good morning, everyone. It's early, making a video early today. Uh, I'm Redbeard, this is the Redbeard Grind, and I'm gonna review what I sold on eBay yesterday because that's all I do. Um, I got a question, if you're watching these videos, um, leave a comment below if you're actually reselling or you're wanting to get into reselling. I'm just curious to know like what, what kind of audience is out there. Um, uh, any, obviously, any other comments you want to leave. Uh, and don't forget to do the thumbs up, the like and thing, um, if you don't mind. So let's get into the 16th. Yeah, yesterday was the 16th. It was a little bit below average day for me. I did 13 in sales, 352 bucks. Um, not the greatest day, but there's some good stuff to go over. And again, I'm just going to just kind of cherry pick what I review so I don't waste anybody's time. If there's anything particular you want to know about, just shoot me a message and I'll, I'll make sure I add it. So this brand here, D-U-E-R, I don't know if it's called Dewar or what. I've never seen it before. I came across uh, like four or five items all together um, and comped it, and it comped pretty well. It, it, there wasn't a whole lot of information I could find, um, but I went and bought all four items and listed them. And these, I took an offer on these. Let me show you the tag. It seems okay. I, I don't think this is like a bowl or anything, but um, D-U-E-R, hard to miss if you see that. Uh, but it looked like it looked like kind of like an active wear or performance type brand. These had a, I think these had like a spot on the crotch, like kind of a spot. That's a bad place to have a a spot. So I put them at twenty nine eighty seven uh, on the thirteenth, April thirteenth, and let's see, we got uh, thirty six bucks with my shipping on top of that. So not not a bad turnaround for something with a flaw. And then there's I got three others items listed so we'll see how that that brand does but i think it's going to be okay to pick up uh let's see j crew this is a brand i normally don't pick up um unless it's got something really special about it and i got this because it was linen and it's we're heading into linen season or already getting into linen season and um so i pick i will pick up a lot of linen stuff even with uh fast fashion mob brand stuff um and J. Crew is also the uh, the Baird McNutt. They own, I think they own uh, Baird McNutt, or their sister companies or something. So a lot of times you'll see this on the on the um, as the as the brand, um, and that's I think the J. Crew owns that. But I picked that brand up also. They make I think exclusively linen. So I got this for four ninety nine. Sold it for twenty seven bucks plus shipping. Listed it April first. It's out of here. So linen's moving, guys. Make sure you're Make sure you're trying to put stuff in your store right now that's going to sell in the summertime if you can. Like I know it's not always possible, but um, like yesterday, I just I crushed it with bathing suits and shorts. Um, I'm going to try to do that again today. But uh, so I can kind of, when that summer slump comes, your sales drop by about 30% typically. Um, it, it helps if you have stuff that people are buying in the summertime. All right. 511 Tactical, this is a bread and butter. This is a women's, the strike pants. Um, the strike pants have the, let me see if I can zoom in, like these little pockets here and here, and then on the back side, that, that doesn't have that little um, that strap or that loop. It's got the pockets, it's like the um, cargo pockets on it. There's a better picture. And you can get that information from, where do I, where do I get it from? Let's see. Sometimes I can find a style number on these and sometimes I can't. So what I do is I will go to the 511 Tactical website and find the pants that are identical to this. Like with these, I already knew what they were because I sold them enough. I just copied one of my other listings. Or I will go to Big Yumbo's channel and look at what he's listed and what he's selling because he's really good with keywords and he's very knowledgeable of what things are. So I'll look through his, it's almost easier sometimes to go to his store and look through his stuff because he doesn't have all the stuff that 511 Tactical has. They got hundreds of items and then Big Yumbo's got, you know, he's focused on um, just a bunch of different brands. So he doesn't have as much of it to look through. Uh, but I use his store a lot to just look at keywords and titles and see what he's selling. Um, check him out if you probably already know about him. He's, he's way bigger than I am. Um, but yeah, Big Yumbo, go check him out. He's, I, I watch his stuff every day. Really, I, I, I look at his store more than I watch his videos. Like, I watch his videos occasionally, but um, I look at his store every day. Because he, he gets really good stuff. I wish I could find that stuff. Uh, he's in, 
I just can't find it in Houston area. So, all right, Cinch bronze label jeans. This is another bread and butter. These have been listed since January, so they've sat for a while. Let me see if anything's wrong with them. Nothing's wrong with them. This is just a simple tag inside. This is their little um, label that they will have. It'll be either bronze, silver, green, white. I'm not sure if there's a, I think there's a black one. Um, but all those colors just mean that like uh, it has something to do with the style. This is the slim fit tapered stone washed cowboy jean. Um, that's what the bronze is. So you can go to, you can easily go to the website, the cinch website and look up the color they have to have the color labels there and see what you have to get keywords for your title. Um, I used to not pick these up, but I pick them up all the time now. They eventually sell and they always go for the $20 range. Some of them go higher. Uh, and plus my shipping get about 30 bucks or so out of the, out of the sell. Cool Rambler shorts. Uh, I pick up cool all the time. I prefer the pants. That's what sells for the most money and the fastest, but I bought these for $4.99 and sold for $22. So that's, that's a good flip. Um, and I don't know how I know that they were the Rambler. Sometimes I can find the style number on these things and sometimes I cannot. Let's see. Okay, so there's the style number. If you put cool shorts and then 5125, I usually put in quotation marks in eBay, it'll pull up. You'll pull up a bunch of titles and you'll see most of them are going to be Rambler and you can copy those. I don't think the cool website recognizes style numbers, so you can't you can't go to the cool website. And get that but maybe i can't remember some some websites work and some don't these had plenty of flaws on them so i might have listed them for a little bit more they didn't have all these little spots that's not too bad but people looking for these are looking for like outdoor stuff they may not be concerned about the the spots as much as they are concerned about the performance of the of the item so it's a great brand let me show you the logo that's you'll you'll see that um on shirts you'll see them on the sleeves behind the collar and then usually they brand pretty heavily on the back usually they've got their logo cool k-u-h-l it's a pretty good brand it it doesn't bring in the money that it used to years ago um i missed out on that because i wasn't selling that years ago uh, another vintage wrangler i had a vintage wrangler shirt yesterday it was the brush popper i think that one sold in 30 40 dollar range this one went for about 30 bucks with my shipping it's been listed since february this is just a really thin one of those really thin thin material shirts i think Maybe not too thin, but um, I just thought the pattern was cool. And sometimes I just pick these up, especially if it's like XLT tall, tall man or has the long tail. I'll just pick them up and they'll move for in the $20 range. You know, had a flaw on it. Little spot right there. I couldn't get that out. It dried with all my might. But yeah, it's it's a decent bread and butter. I don't pick up every Ringler Pearl Snap I see, but I just pick up the ones that I think have cool patterns or are really like the vintage USA made or sometimes vintage Mexico made um, or have like Aztec pattern on it. Like patterns are really what sells those things. Orvis, 27 bucks for this, sold it for 19, listed March 25th. Uh, why did I buy this? Probably because it had, usually I'll buy Orvis if it's like a fishing shirt and it's minted on the back. I don't see any venting though. Um, maybe that sleeve is vented. I can't tell by my picture. I don't think so. But um, other than that, I may have picked this up because I need inventory. I don't typically pick this brand up. They do have some items that I will, like the trout bum, Orvis trout bum shirts and pants tend to do a little bit better than their just standard shirts. So I'll usually pick up something if it's special with this brand, but I don't pick up everything. Um, that's a nice little cool shirt. All right, is there anything else? 511 Tactical, I'll show you that real quick. It's just the shorts, sold these for 20 bucks. Buy them for $4.99. Um, it's the strike short. It's just like the pants, except uh, no legs. Yeah. And like the um, the pants do okay. I mean, the shorts do okay. I, I've, I've sold them for cheaper for sure. I'm glad I got 19 bucks for that. And those have been listed since April 15th. So that's a fairly fast mover. Oh, here, I'll show you this dress. I bought this years ago. I don't know anything about dresses. And I just copied someone's listing. This dress has been setting for years. And then all of a sudden, the last few months, people keep sending offers over and over and over. Um, and I finally just took one for, I think, 15 bucks yesterday. But yeah, it's a dress. I, I wouldn't pick this up again because I don't, I don't know enough about these to list them 
effectively. I don't know the keywords or anything. That's the that's what it is. Beat Jamel, Bet Jamel, Bet Jamal. I don't know. Yeah. There's plenty of people that sell tons of dresses. You can get into that business for sure. Um, the rest of these, I don't think they're really worth. Well, Miz and Maine, this is, um, you can still make money on Miz and Maine. Again, like years ago, it was it was selling way better for a lot more money. But if you find it, Miz and Maine performance men's sweater. Um, this one had a problem, a pretty big stain on it. I would have got more money if it didn't have that stain. It's been setting since January 29th. Um, but 19 bucks for a, a 5 $6 shirt. I think I'll wrap it up there. These aren't really worth looking at. Um, and do this again for you tomorrow. Hopefully I have better sales today, but we'll see. Um, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, leave a comment below and let me know if you're reselling or if you're wanting to get into reselling or why you're, why you're watching the videos. And then um, give me a thumbs up and a like if you don't mind. And I'll do this again tomorrow. See ya.